Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to something a little different. So in today's video, I wanted to do a story time type of video because I asked you guys on Snapchat if you guys wanted to see something a little bit different and I told you that I would want to share a really funny story. Um, I've seen a lot of these videos floating around YouTube and I have some pretty funny stories that happened to me in the past. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to tell this story. It's so funny and it's so embarrassing. So <clears throat> this story is about me and poop, pretty much. So this goes back to about... Um, two years ago, um, I was working at a place, I don't even know if I should say the name, is that legal? I'll say the name, oh well, I used to work there, I don't work there anymore, it was called Black Turtle Services, and it's located here in Utah, um, pretty much what we did is we worked for, like, the Obamacare, when that first took place, uh, the two years ago, so when I found out that, um, Black Turtle was hiring here near my area, I applied. So before that, um, I had to go take a drug test and then, you know, you have to go through the interview process, yada, yada, yada. I had lunch and I got on my car, I went to look for this place. And first of all, it took me, cause I suck at addresses. Like I just, I, I could get lost and like, I wouldn't even find my way home. I'm horrible with directions. So I put it in my map, my map took me somewhere totally different and um, anyway so I called and they're like oh we're actually located in this area. So I rerouted myself and I found the place. When I went in there was two girls at the front desk and um, they were kind of sassy. One of them she's like are you sure you have to pee because you have to, um, she showed me like the little bottle thing, she's like you have to fill it up this much if not you have to come back. And at that point, I was like, yeah, you know, like, I can do it. And they were actually almost closing. And I had to have that drug test done that same day. So I just sat there and I was waiting and I was waiting and I was waiting. I probably waited for a good 30 minutes because there was a whole bunch of people waiting to be drug tested. So as I was waiting there, all of a sudden, I get this urge, like this big urge of taking a shit I was like oh my god like I you know you know when you feel it it's, it's just you feel your body and everything that you just need to go to the bathroom and I was like oh my god I need to I need to poo I need to go take a shit so bad so then after that um I told the girls I'm like do you guys have a bathroom and she's like yeah there's the bathroom right there but remember if you don't fill up this cup then you have to come back I was like, oh my god. So I was, okay, I'm that type of person that I cannot hold down. I cannot hold in my pee. Like, I will literally pee my pants. And that's actually another story that I'll have to tell you guys later where I've actually peed my pants. And I just couldn't hold it. I'm like sitting there just like moving around and like jumping, you know, doing my little pee dance. And oh, it was so embarrassing. You know, people were looking at me like, like why is she dancing you know so then the girl calls me or you know the girl walks in and she's like okay hon you're next it's time for you you know to do your urine test so I go up and you know we go to this back room <clears throat> and she's like okay fill out this and that and I literally felt the poop coming out of my butthole I was like okay I'm gonna go into the bathroom I'm gonna pee and then you know I'm gonna go out to the other bathroom and I'm gonna go poop yeah, that didn't happen. So I went inside, pulled down my pants, and I was getting ready to just pee like on the cup. But as graphic as it sounds, I don't know if this happens to everybody, but when I poo, I poop first and then I pee. So I just felt my poop coming out. And I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? And because she asked me before that, the toilet or the water and the the toilet was blue um, and she's like don't flush the toilet I will come in and flush it for you so I was like oh my god this girl's gonna come in and flush the toilet for me and she's gonna see this huge turd and like what am I gonna say so I just I pulled up my pants again I'm like I have to tell her I gotta tell her so <laughs> I open the door I'm like excuse me and I'm like red and I'm so embarrassed I'm like 
I kind of have to poop. I'm like, I can't hold it. I've been trying to hold it, but I really can't hold it. I'm like, is it okay if I poop and, you know, fill up the cup with pee and give it to you? And she just looked at me like, sure, yeah, that's fine. You can flush the toilet, you know, it's okay. Just because they don't want anybody messing, you know, like, with, or, you know, putting some fake pee or something. I don't know however that works. So I go in, I do my business, and I come out and I give her the cup. So I close the door behind me, and the girl walks in, and <laughs> she was like horrified. I know that's so gross, but I mean, come on, poop doesn't smell like flowers. And I walk out, or she walks out, and then she's like, okay, she's like, well, we're going to run the test, and we will let you know if it came back positive or negative. Which, I mean, I wasn't worried about, you know, like, I knew that I was clean and everything. So, I left and I called my boyfriend. I was like, the most embarrassing thing happened to me. He's like, what? I'm like, so you know how I had to do a drug test for work? He's like, yeah. I was like, yeah, I kind of pooped while I was doing the drug test. He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, you know how you're supposed to just take a piss and give it to them. I'm like, I literally could not hold my poop. I took a shit in the drug testing room. Like, how embarrassing is that? And to this day, like, he still makes so much fun of me, but it was just crazy and it was funny. And it's just one of those times that you just can never, ever, ever forget. And it's funny. For, to me, it's just really funny. You know, it's almost like a really embarrassing story, but at the same time, it's funny. I don't care. I mean, we're all humans. We all poop. We all pee. You know, we all have embarrassing moments. So I just wanted to share that quick, um, funny to me story. I hope I entertained you guys. Um, I have so many more stories, like really embarrassing stories that I've gone through that I can remember. So if you guys want to see more story times, types of videos like these let me know and I will film them for you guys also I wanted to ask you guys if you'd be interested in doing in me filming kind of like the dreams that I have because you guys I have the craziest most wild dreams ever like I tell my dreams all the time to my sister just because to me they seem so real I mean I have like dreams of like demonic dreams I have dreams of like me killing people and dinosaurs and killer robots and the end of the world all these insane dreams I don't know why I don't have them like every night but I do have them pretty frequently and they are just insane sometimes I'm like what's like what's going on in my brain you know like who dreams these types of stuff so if you guys do want to see a video on me telling you just like dreams that I remember or you know just some crazy dreams that I've had let me know in the comment section down below I hope you guys enjoyed this story time and maybe share with me or share with everybody a funny experience because you know you never know who needs a laugh in that day so share your experience and yeah leave a comment I love you guys so much thank you for watching and until next time I will see you guys in my next video bye guys what was that <laughs>